I'm taking the Tesla Model Y up to Miranda in New South Wales for its very first service. Two years, 45,000 kilometres. I thought I'd take the opportunity because Elon Musk said recently that all hardware three vehicles will need to be upgraded at Tesla's expense to hardware four to support the full self-drive software which I have on this vehicle. And like Elon, I've been predicting that full self-drive will be available in Australia now for several years. And I've been as wrong as Elon has. But I did think that in 2025 we would see it in Australia. But now they've had this announcement about the need to upgrade from hardware 3 to hardware 4, I can see how it's going to be delayed even further. So I thought, well, let's get this car in for service and let's ask them to do the upgrade to hardware 4 at the same time. Subscribe now and let's drive. So I've put in the service request. The app is quite clever in this regard. It gives you a list of the things that are due for service. And it also knows that I've had a problem with the tire pressure monitoring system on this car for a couple of months. I had the tires replaced about two or three thousand kilometers ago and I think something happened during that process to disrupt the tire pressure monitoring system. I had hoped software update or just rebooting the car would have been enough to set that or reset that but it hasn't actually fixed the problem. So I've ticked the box to have that looked at while the car is in for service. Now I've requested the upgrade to hardware 4. I've uh, had this vehicle now for two years but I had a Tesla Model 3 for two years prior to that and I never actually got to the point where the car needed to go in for a service. So here I am after four years of owning a Tesla taking the car in for service for the very first time. I have been to the service centre once before to get the tow bar fitted but that was not a regular scheduled maintenance I had the Tesla Model 3 for two years and really enjoyed that car. Uh, I just decided that what I would do is upgrade to the Tesla Model Y when it became available in Australia, really just for ergonomic reasons. I wanted the big hatchback and the larger storage capability and the ability to attach a Tesla manufactured tow bar as well. So I traded the car in, sold it to a friend actually, and here I am now at the end of two years about to get this car serviced for the first time. So when you book your car in for service, the Tesla app sends you messages saying please go through and check the cost estimate and the things that you want done to the vehicle. So it gives you a whole list of things that are due at the two year point, but of course these are all relatively high level maintenance issues. They're checking the brake fluid, replacing the wiper blades, rotating the tyres. I decided not to tick that box because I had my tyres replaced only a couple of months ago. So it's looking like the cost is going to be just a few hundred dollars. Tesla have said they need the car for half a day or so. So we're heading up to Miranda now to get the car booked in and we're going to do a bit of shopping while we're waiting for the Tesla team to service the vehicle. So I've had notification from the Tesla service centre that the upgrade from hardware 3 to hardware 4 is not yet available. So they're actually not going to be able to do it on this service call. They have said that when the upgrade becomes available, all FSD customers will be notified. So this is going to be a standard service first time in two years. Not bad for 45,000 kilometres and the first service. The Tesla service team also provided us with a $60 voucher for Uber. This enabled us to get to the mall and back at no additional cost. I really don't know how these people make any money. Although we'd set aside five hours for the service, it actually only took two before we got notification that the car was ready for collection. I paid the $244 online and the car was on charge at the service centre so we continued shopping for a while.
So the speaker grill has been replaced because apparently the original material was prone to warping in the sunshine. They've also fixed the problem I had with the tyre pressure monitoring system. Thanks to the Tesla service team for doing a great job. And at $244 every two years, I don't know how they make any money. Cheers. Thanks for watching. G'day, and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now, and let's drive.